One Piece is the most popular manga series of all time, and at the rate it is going, I can easily see its own hype killing it. Now what exactly do I mean by that? Well to understand what that means, we need to take a look at the fandom response to the Whole Cake Island arc. Now I'm going to be examining the western fan basic reaction to the arc and not the eastern one, just so you are aware. I am very confident in saying that Whole Cake Island was received very negatively in the west. While some enjoyed it more than others, the general opinion was that the arc wasn't very good. And I am one of the people that did not enjoy Whole Cake Island very much, and I do think the arc has very legitimate flaws. There are a lot of pacing issues in the arc, and there are a lot of characters that don't get any exploration, and are basically just left to the sideline for us to hope that Oda will expand on them later. There were also plot lines and decisions by Oda that are questionable, such as the redemption of Pudding, or Luffy pulling Snake Man out of thin air. However, something I heard said quite often during Whole Cake Island was that if Luffy defeated Big Mom in that arc on his own, it would be trash. And I think that brings up a problem that nobody really wants to talk about it, so we are going to talk about it today. Has Oda overhyped the Nyonka? Oda had spent over 10 plus years and hundreds upon hundreds of chapters building up these four antagonists. And I feel like it had reached a point where it's worse than the Naruto vs Sasuke dilemma, where that fight was built up for so long, nobody really thought it could live up to that hype. But I think the situation Oda is in with the Yonko is worse, and I honestly don't know if there is any way to have these characters live up to the hype. If Luffy has help from the other supernovas to combat Kaido, it won't be any more help than Law gave him during the Doflamingo fight. It will still always boil down to Luffy versus the antagonist. And I feel that as long as Luffy defeats Onyonko himself, nobody will be satisfied. The best comparison I can think of is Joker's origin from DC Comics. While DC Comics had shown the Joker's origin a few times, they always hint that the origin may not be correct. A great example of this is the origin given in the classic Batman story, The Killing Joke, where his origin is revealed completely. However, as the Joker is fighting Batman, he does say, well you know Batman, I remember the story differently every time, I'm not even sure what is true anymore, because the Joker is so crazy, he doesn't remember his past properly. The reason DC doesn't create a definitive Joker origin is because they know that at this point, they could never create one that would satisfy people. It's too far out of their control. It's been too hyped up, and it's too big of a deal for them to make it satisfactory for the reader. I think that's kind of the situation that Oda is in right now. I think he's hyped up the Nyonko so much that I think regardless of how epic the battle with Kaido is, regardless of how epic it is when Luffy defeats Big Mom, and regardless of how much sense it makes in the story, it won't matter because there's no way to live up to the hype that he had created for the Nyonka. Kichimoto was in a very similar situation with the Naruto and Sasuke fight at the end of the series. The final battle between Naruto and Sasuke had been hyped up for hundreds upon hundreds of chapters for almost a decade. But the key difference between the Naruto and Sasuke fight and the issue Oda is facing with the Nyonko is that the Naruto and Sasuke fight was just one battle between two characters that Kichimoto could have made 5 to 10 chapters at most. All he had to do was make an epic, emotional, final battle between these two characters. Oda, on the other hand, has to justify Luffy defeating four of the characters that have been hyped up 
for the same length of time, if not more. People have a problem with Luffy defeating Katakuri because he is the strongest of the fleet commander. They probably won't be okay with him defeating Onyoko. However, Oda could make this work. It is possible for him to do it. I'm only saying there is a possibility that if not done correctly, the overhype of Onyoko could kill One Piece.